Well, hey, everybody. <clears throat> George Williams Sr. here. Up here on the roof of my house trying to get my roof done. I had a uh, sinus cold and chest congestion for the last couple weeks, so my voice is not really, really good. And I'm two weeks behind on getting this project done. Been watching the events that's going on in, um, in the south, <clears throat> Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and... Uh, I've been holding off on making this video because I didn't want to sound, oh hell. I didn't want to jump the gun. I mean, wanted to see what was happening. And sadly, what's happening is very disappointing. Um, the government is failing on all accounts. And then we have an unmarked Black Hawk coming in and rotor washing a uh, supply site. Uh, and then flying away, it's like, what the hell's going on with our government? Who are these people? Why are they trying to stop citizens, civilians, volunteers from doing what needs to be done? I don't know. You tell me. But what I do know <clears throat> is watching the response from the uh, Biden administration. <clears throat> um, they might as well just get the hell out of the way because they're not doing any good. And it seems like... They have people on the ground that are trying to thwart the relief process going on. And if this doesn't show you, the American people, mostly the Democrats, that supporting the Harry Tampon administration run for office, uh, and you're going to vote for the Harry Tampon administration with Kamala and and Waltz, uh, you're voting against America. They are out to destroy America. I don't know if you've been following anything that Candace Owen has been doing, but it's obvious that Kamala was raised a communist and that her communist values are still very strong in her values today. And I don't know much about Tampon Tim, but He's a total nut job. Every time I see him and hear him speak, I can't help but think, how the heck did this guy get in office? Um, but anyway, we want to help our fellow American citizens. We're tired of being left last. And if you love America, but you don't like Trump, you need to stop thinking about not liking Trump, you need to start thinking of what is best for America because if your only reason you don't like Trump is you don't like Trump, then I'm sorry, you're, you've got some mental issues. Uh, if there's anything that has been proven for the last three and a half going on four years with the Biden-Harris administration is there's nothing but lies. Uh, and, and they don't have arguments for their arguments. All they can say is, you're a liar, you're a racist, you're a misogynist, you're a Nazi, you're whatever. They don't have substantial facts to back up their claims. And every time they say something against the people they don't like or whoever's opposing their opinion, <clears throat> they always project the very things that they do on the people that they don't like. And it's sad, you know, and, and this cancel culture BS that's going on in the world is, you know, you can't be canceled if you got nothing to be canceled for, and you can't be canceled if you've got no fear of being canceled. So for those of you out there who've been holding back, haven't been voting, you need to make a decision because it's not just a vote or Trump and JD or a vote for Kamala and Walls. It's a vote for America or against America. And I'm sorry, if you vote Kamala Walls, if you vote for the Harry Tampon administration, you are voting anti-America. They will be pushing us into World War III and they will be pushing us into continuing many wars at the same time destroying this country. So that's my feelings 
today. Um, God bless the uh, victims and survivors of Hurricane Helene and those of you down in Florida. I hope this thing doesn't turn up towards uh, Helene's path. But those of you in Florida, you're facing down a Cat 5 hurricane coming your way. Don't expect the government to help you. You know, hats off to the Cajun Navy and all the rest of the volunteers and, and people out there trying to make a difference. And, you know, FEMA, frankly, needs to just be defunded and, and gotten rid of because they have proved themselves worthless. They've proved themselves to be an enemy to the American people. And anyway, I could keep going on, but that's all I have to say for now. Got to get back to roofing. Um, finally getting my strength back after being sick for two weeks. So got to get this done. George Williams Sr., God bless America. Vote appropriately. Vote for America. Talk to you later.